After spending an amazing week in Qingdao, China, exploring all it had to offer, it was time for us all to catch a high-speed train to Beijing. We left our hotel Holiday Inn Express and headed to Qingdao North train station, where we would depart from. Qingdao North is the biggest train station in Shandong province and services over 150 high-speed trains a day. After clearing the airport-style security, we lined up to make our way to the platform and wait for our train's arrival. It had been over five years since we last caught a high-speed train in China, and we were looking forward to this experience. Once on the platform, we all lined up in an orderly manner waiting for the train to arrive. But I can tell you that once the doors opened, it was a free-for-all with people trying to jam in as fast as they could, finding their seats, finding places for luggage and getting comfortable as the train pulled out of the station. The train skirted around the outskirts of Qingdao as it accelerated towards its capacity of over 300 kilometres an hour and we were off heading for Beijing. coming around where they seem to be selling coins, banknotes, memorabilia, pictures with trains on it. I'm not quite sure actually, but they're definitely selling something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was right. She spoke English, but she just said hello. She didn't try and offer us anything. It definitely all looked like uh, memorabilia of some type for China, so I'm not quite sure. She didn't try to explain that, so... Seems like we now have a trolley selling beauty products, Estee Lauder, heel repair, got lots of things going on here. China Rail is like flying on an airline. You get offered plenty of things. I feel like I'm in the shopping mall. In China, my daughter just explained this to me that you can go on the app for the train station or yeah. the train that you're on and you can order KFC and they'll deliver it to the train station for you. And one of the stewardesses or the hostesses on board the train will go out to the platform and pick it up for you. How amazing is that? Just getting some takeaway oh, delivered, takeaway yeah. delivered, KFC. A couple of queens there, a couple of queens there. So second class that we're in has five seats 
a three and two configuration. If you go first class, it has a two and two configuration. And if you cough up for business class, which is the dearest, it has a one and one configuration. This bullet chain. I think I've stumbled into some sort of buffet car possibly here. Um, seems like there's possibly food for sale and people buying things, but I'm not quite sure because they don't sort of offer it to you much when you're when you speak English and not Chinese. You'll find if you don't speak Chinese and they don't speak English, they won't make an effort and that's fair enough. We are literally belting across the countryside here. Okay, so if you don't want to go in the squat toilets, which uh, are on board, you need to go into the disabled or family toilet where you'll find a pedestal toilet, as they call them in China, which are our Western type of toilets. So just a little hint, look for the baby change room disability toilet if you don't want to squat. <laughs> I don't want to squat. But... House is going up everywhere here three and a half hours to Beijing. We're about to stop while well, next stop is Jinan, which is the capital of Shandong province, which is where Qingdao is. We'll also find a hot and cold water dispensing machines on here, which is great. If you've got a cup of noodles that you want to bring with you, or even if you just want a cold drink, bring your water bottle, you can fill it up along the way. Did you know that two thirds of the world's high speed rail tracks are in China? I didn't, but. You do now. I could, I could have guessed that. Because I'm the father and I'm here to educate. Oh, totally, absolutely. <laughs> Coconut flavored pastry. Yeah, it's really actually really yummy. Thanks. Back to our mooncakes. The good thing about China is you can bring your own snacks on a train. Like lots of them. Once I chew this, mm -hmm. I'll take away. Mm -hmm. So it's a mooncake. I'm not sure what flavour it is. I think it's sesame seed, maybe? It's a black sesame. Expert? <laughs> oh, you didn't have to eat it. I was just getting there to have a look. <laughs> What's it taste like, Mark? I don't really like it. Pastry and black sesame. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. That's okay. It's not as good as the one that we had the other day. Oh, it's really nice. Oh, it's sort of fruity too. Fruity? Oh, mm, tastes fruity. I think it might have some minced fruit in the bottom of it. Mm. Anyways, you want to try? It's just black sesame seed. Black sesame. Mooncake. They all different? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I've tried mooncake. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got a bit of minced fruit in the bottom of it. Okay. 
China's high-speed train network actually has over 45,000 kilometres of high-speed train line. The longest high-speed rail line in China runs from Beijing to Kuming, which is 1,710 miles of high-speed rail. High-speed rail is classified as anything that goes up between 200 and 380 kilometres an hour, and China has tons of it. Okay, so we're arriving in Beijing now, three and a half hours later. After leaving Qindao North train station, ride has been ultra smooth, it's quiet, snow bumps, uh, seats in economy or second class I'd say are not the best in the world if you can afford it, cough up for first class, it'll be a much more comfier trip. Quite the scene here at Beijing Southern train station. Just got off our train from Qingdao. We'll just wait for a bit of the crowd to clear away down here. As you can see, uh, there's people everywhere. 